Hello, and welcome to this video from Zenitel. In this video, we will discuss the use cases for OPC server and use tools to test and demonstrate the OPC server. OPC is an open standard specification which gives a consistent method of accessing data from and writing data to a connected system by a controlling system. Hardware, such as the ICX Alpha Com, presents information about the capabilities and status of its connected intercom stations in a defined manner to any OPC-based system management software package. This consistency means that there is no need to write specific interface protocol software for each combination of hardware and management software. Especially in projects where the management software needs to control more than just the intercom exchange this is an enormous saving in cost and time. Examples of controlling systems interfaced to ICX AlphaCom via OPC server include Honeywell EBI, Siemens Psi Pass, Bosch BIS and many PLC-based systems. We can test and demonstrate the use of the OPC server using some built-in tools. Navigate to the folder shown below and open the file named DA3 Test Client Net 4. Click on Browse Servers and the VS Alpha Com.1 server will appear. Click on the Connect button to connect to the OPC server. Click on Browse Items and the OPC system tree will appear. We can view the details by clicking on the elements. Alpha Com OPC server contains some OPC based elements. Alpha Global contains the master station list defined in the OPC server configurator. Each node has some node specific points. Within each node, all configured stations will be listed. Within each station are the specific data points available. Further expansion of the individual station reveals the inputs and outputs available for each station. We can monitor the status of the nodes by using the node status data point. For each node, add the node status data point to the read tab. Once all data points are added, we can read the status by pressing the read button. As all four nodes are operational, the value is 1. If a node were offline, the value would be 0. We can view the status of individual intercom stations using the operational data point. Select an extension and add the operational data point to the read tab. You can add stations from multiple nodes. Once all stations have been added, we can again press the read button to view the status. Here, we can see that station 102 in node 1 is offline. Using the Groups tab, we can add a large number of data points and monitor automatically according to the refresh rate. 
Here we monitor the master station 101 in node 1 as a call is placed to master station 101 in node 4. And here we see an incoming call request with the mail queue and queue length points changing to 1. Watch the related to, busy and call mode points change through the process. Lastly, here we are monitoring the data points for substation 102 in node 4. When a call request is started from this station, we see the signal data point change to 1. We can answer this call by writing a master station number in the connect data point. These master station numbers are predefined in the OPC server configurator. Now we see the call is answered. To cancel the call, we can write a zero to the connect data point. This is only a small example of the many features available for control of the ICX Alpha Com via OPC. For more details, please contact technical support. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit our web pages at zenitel.com and our wiki pages at wiki.zenitel.com.